Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Binding of Isaac, Wrath of the Lamb Edition. Still kind of continuing on our random spree. I'm just trying to remember, like, is it possible that I haven't beaten the game with one of these characters? Maybe I beat it with, I beat Satan with Maggie, or instead of beating Isaac with Maggie? Isaac is Maggie? Einhorn is Finkel? Ew. Anyway. Uh, so I don't know, we'll try a run with Maggie. It's been a while. I'm pretty positive uh, that I have beaten the game with Maggie before. But just in case I'm missing something obvious, I mean, in the last, like, two days, it felt weird to me after the last run to not be getting unlimited keys after I picked up that set. But anyway, um, over the past few days, I can recall beating the game with Eve, Blue Baby, Kane, Isaac, and I believe Judas, although I know my last Judas run was a total failure. I'm pretty sure that, uh, like, I've handled it by and large, beating the game with every character. Still no Polaroid unlock, but you know, as much as I love The Binding of Isaac, there are times when it gets a little bit glitchy and you know, things don't work for one reason or another. Uh, so I'm going to assume that I have all the prerequisites. Again, keep in mind there are lead times with these videos, so if you've been yelling at me for three videos to get my shit together, uh, as for why I don't have the Polaroid, then you know maybe a better option might be to hit me up on Twitter, where I exist in real time. You know what, let's just go for broke on the spider. There we go, yeah. If I took damage, I was like, whatever, because I have the... Yum heart, anyway. We got Brass Knuckles, it's a decent item, so we'll use that in conjunction with our Devil card to basically have a little bit of an overpowered uh, Book of Belial for this next boss, who I assume is going to be pretty easy. In fact, we might even save this Devil card if it's pinned. That's gonna be the Widow. I, uh, Widow's pretty easy to kill. I'm gonna use my Yum heart quick, and then I'm gonna use my Devil card. Uh, should have used it earlier, but oh well. This will make it super easy to take out. The Widow, who will hopefully give us a damage upgrade, because I don't really need anything else as Maggie right now. I'll take the health. The health is fine. Thank you for that. Uh, but, you know, Maggie, four hearts is enough that I can probably make it last for a while. And there we go. Damage upgrade. Exactly what I, as I wanted. So we should have, yep, red tears now. So, uh, our damage upgrades have been pretty substantial up here in the early game. Which is always nice. Uh, oh, my tears aren't red anymore, though. Because <laughs> uh, it was just because I had the Devil card activated. All right, well, that's still fine. Obviously, we still do, do get the plus two damage from that. And the occasional extra damage from the tooth as well. But, uh, yeah, so, I mean, as Maggie, what do I want now? More damage upgrades or, I guess, tier effects. Freezing, uh, slowing, technology, brimstone, Ouija board. Anything along those lines is obviously going to be super important to me right now. May also look for the secret room if I'm lucky enough to come across a ton of money or a ton of bombs to look for the secret room. There's four cents in here, but I only have one bomb and it would cost me money. It cost me more to get it than it would probably be worth, is what I was trying to get at there. What I'm doing in there. This should be pretty easy because we've got a sick Daisy esque choke point here. And another cent contained therein. Where is our treasure room though? I guess the other thing I want with Maggie is I want to get rid of this Yum Heart as soon as possible. Like, it's an item that I don't really like. The only reason I like it now is because I can use it uh, to nullify the effects of the self-sacrifice room. So even if a self-sacrifice room is total garbage, I can still get out of it without taking any damage to myself. Unless I, I don't know, made some horrible mistake and accidentally walked in twice or something. But, uh, most spacebar items I find are preferable to this. So we'll blow up this Tinted Rock. Put myself in a very difficult situation there. Didn't even want to pick up that spirit heart yet. Because if there was a self-sacrifice room, it would have put me in a difficult situation. But anyway, treasure room. Ah, we might as well pick up this one. Uh, treasure room. Fire my laser. Yes, probably better than the Yum Heart. Not great, but better. And we got our boss. So we'll fight it right away. It's just Larry Jr. Pretty much a uh, perfect shot. Couldn't have asked for a better chance at Larry Jr. There we got shot speed up. And we got Satan. What do you want, Satan? Ouija board, demon baby. No. That's all I have to say to that. And we are basically speedrunning the game here. Here's our item room. Peeper's eye. Yes, Peep's eye, so that's gonna go around the room. I think I won when I had Peep's eye last time, so definitely don't consider it to be a terrible item. It's not a bad luck charm, at least not yet. Nothing from Judgment, which I was kind of hoping for some extra bombs or keys. But, uh, you know, Peep's eye is one of those items that I, I'm still kind of unsure how I feel about it. Got lucky with that dodge. <laughs> I could say that that was a pro dodge, but no, I got incredibly lucky. And then, of course, I lost it again anyway, but... We got in here, a little bit of money, half heart that I hopefully won't have to use, because obviously I have a lot of spirit hearts to go through right now. Oh, don't get yourself trapped in the corner like that. 
Uh, I think Peep's Eye is really good on bosses that don't move around too much. But then I, I like when I fought Isaac with Peep's Eye, Peep's Eye did basically nothing. Except like sitting, like going around like a DVD screensaver. You know how DVD screensavers like never hit the corner of the DVD player? It's like that. Apparently, it never hits Isaac if you got Peep's Eye. If you're watching it, if you're not watching it, it'll hit it every time. That was bad dodging right there. I remember having that realization at like 10 years old, and then telling people a, year, like a few years later when we were watching like a DVD in history class, and they're like, You stole that joke from the office! No, I didn't. It's mere coincidence, my friend. Alright, there's a Sun card, Temperance card. How are we gonna do this? Okay, we're gonna come back here. Is there a half heart in here? Okay, there's one and a half hearts. We got a chance. There's one. There's two. There's three. Back to full health. Uh, we'll go back to Judgment. Perhaps Judgment will drop some more hearts for us. Or, uh, you know, we've paid him a fair amount of money so far. Maybe he'll give us some uh, spacebar item or some passive item. That would make it worthwhile. You know, that bomb is useful too. I'm not going to deny that. Okay, we got a list of things to do now. We gotta get a little bit more money so we can give some more to Judgment, because dude is gonna pay out any second now. I know it! I'm not leaving this machine until it hits the jackpot. I will shit my pants here if I have to. Uh, we have some more health, which we can also use to go to the uh, blood bank again. Why not? Okay, we got more money. Again, way more health. Let's go back. We'll talk to Judgment. We'll give him the money. We can play the blood bank at least four more times. Health upgrade would be awesome right now. Uh, but hopefully, I'm, I'm hoping for like a, a dominating item from Judgment here. Okay, we can play the Blood Bank a few more times. That's some nice, nice insurance, I guess. Come on, man. Okay, another tarot card. Death card, that's fine. Maybe we'll use that on the boss and carry the Sun card down to the next floor. Being as thorough as possible so much for a speedrun, we can afford to play this like six times now. Could have gone to the shop a hundred times over. Four, five, and ah, there we go. Okay, finally it's done. Now, if we're lucky, Judgment will pay out something amazing on these five cents as well. There's another tarot card. The Hermit uh, takes us to the shop. Okay, it could be worthwhile, I guess. There we go. Dead Sea Scrolls. Slightly better than I'm firing my laser, maybe. Uh, we're gonna take the death card and I guess carry this to the boss. I'm not sure if that worked out for the best for us, to be honest with you. But we did get an extra heart container out of it, so I'm not gonna complain too hard about that. I haven't used Dead Sea Scrolls in so long, I've almost forgot what it does. I think it gives you a random effect for one room. If so, that's not great. But I'll live with it. Can't believe I've taken so much damage on this floor, okay. Or on this room. Ah, uh, we got enough bombs to maybe make the secret room a possibility, but obviously there's a lot of possible locations for it as well. Thank you, Peeps. I did a little bit of crowd control for me there, I think. More hearts. Am I really going to walk all the way back there for the sun card? I guess I am, but... Okay, so who we got? Pestilence. Almost a waste of a death card. Uh, but we'll see what Dead Sea Scrolls does. Mom's bra. Cool. Freezes everything. That's pretty good. Peeps eye tearing them apart. Not so much that time, but hey, he'll be back for another pass in 30 or 40 years. Gotta avoid walking on the creep. And how fast does Dead Sea Scrolls recharge? Once every six rooms. That is bad. What I will do is check for the secret room very, very quickly here. Hopefully that's centered enough. Don't think that will be the secret room. And we'll just come back here, walk all the way back, long distance, to get our sun card and then move onwards because obviously that sun card is very useful later on in the game we do have enough keys to visit the treasure room and stuff on the next floor I might go back to fire my laser to be honest with you I think Dead Sea Scrolls is overrated well not even overrated I don't know if anybody really likes that item it's just kind of the novelty of the fact that it's random that I think attracts people to it but I'm not attracted to it that much I would rather have the consistency of something like I'm firing my laser and I'm hoping, you know, more health upgrades, brimstone. That's what I want right now. I want double brimstones all the way across the sky. What does it mean? It means uh, an easy victory with Maggie. So we're in Catacombs Part 2, self-sacrifice room. Does not appeal to me right now. 
Let's fire our laser at these guys. Get a spirit heart out of it for basically free. And a key as well. Catacombs part two, a little bit trickier than the caves part one, of course. But I think we'll be fine. We got enough health to at least last this floor, even if I totally suck. Which is not outside of the realm of possibility, to be sure. Come on, conga line dude. Lucky us, found the treasure room basically right away. Some surprisingly good dodges there, considering the spikes put me kind of on edge. And there's... Okay, well, if this pill is good, maybe I will make the attempt for the second one. Pretty fly. Oh, I don't even need to make an attempt. I thought there was a spike behind it as well. We'll definitely just pop two pretty flies here. It's basically like getting a halo of flies, considering we have the cube of meat as well. So, you know, good suite of items there. Free rage, which is why I almost never like to buy ra or pay for rage in the, the deal with the devil room. And hey, there's the boss room already. That's terrible damage, but at least it was only... Actually, it's worse that it's a spirit heart. We might as well fight the boss right away. We're here. We got, um... We got laser filled up. Obviously, yeah, I wanted to make sure we hit him with the laser, because that's going to be our main way of dealing damage to him when it's mostly, uh, we're only able to hit him on his back. But Peep's Eye, wow. Basically killed him, yeah, totally killed him. More pills for Mom's coin purse here. Let's talk to Satan first. Okay, we'll get Krampus, that's fine. I'm doing enough damage that I don't feel bad about my chances against Krampus. Of course, hopefully Peep's Eye... I mean, Krampus moves around a lot, which is going to make maybe a little bit less likely that Peep's Eye is going to do some serious damage. But, if it hits, it will help me out a little bit. Mom's Coin Purse is the thing, this item that shows up, like, all the damn time. I don't think I've ever had it be fantastic. What I want is, like, it always drops, or I think it frequently drops two of the same pill. Like, two of the same color, so obviously it has the same effect as well. Um... Oh, Halo of Fly saved me there. Not there, though. <laughs> uh, not there. Uh, yeah, so I'm hoping that you get, like, a health uphill, followed immediately by another health uphill. That would be huge. But oftentimes, I just end up getting a pill that hurts me, followed by, oh, I don't want to use this pill because that pill hurts me. But I guess it's a good item if you have Kane and you know that the pills can't be bad. Or if you have, you know, a lot of health already. And you're just trying to press your existing advantages a little bit further. Krampus has taken a while to kill, but he will give us, of course, damage upgrade, which is always nice. And a chest. Cool beans. Containing another pill. Okay, well. We'll definitely take the sun... Okay, we'll take this orange pill. We'll just eat it right now. Range down. Okay, so we know on the next room we don't want to eat the orange pill. And there's not two of the same pill here. Okay, what do we got? <laughs> you gotta be fucking kidding me. This is supposed to be a good item. Alright. Weird. But I guess we can deal with it. Single Larry Jr. Has died and given us a chest. With a key and a heart in it. And we can go to the mob trap room now. Why not? I mean, we're here. <laughs> Might as well explore the entirety of the floor now. I can't believe it. speed plus range down. It's like an opposite Jesus juice. And remember, these are supposed to be rewards for defeating bosses. Fantastic. We have turrets. We're killing the turrets quickly. I forgot that I had rage, though, so I guess, you know. Our damage is, is solid. Rage, we got the pentagram. We now have lump of coal. I will open this golden chest. Who knows what treasures it holds? Two of spades doubles our keys. Okay, well that was definitely worth it then. I might not pop it right away, but uh, we can definitely get a well more than one key and one bomb's worth out of it, that's for sure. Kind of wish it was double bombs though, because I would love to look for the secret room now, but with only three bombs, I feel like I have to save my my bombs for uh, Tinsel Rocks. Really? I can't kill any of these things? And this is a little tricky, but hopefully Peep's Eye, if I just continue dodging, will will be able to do some damage itself. Teeth just like shattering on the faces of these greeds. But not doing enough damage. Why don't I just use Fire on my laser? Oh, that's why, because I can't aim with it. Because <laughs> I'm an idiot. There we go, it all worked out in the end. Two of spades looking mighty tempting. Uh, yeah, you know what, we might as well. You get two pills. Good pills, good pills. Oh, man. <laughs> My dream has come true. Okay, now we got two of spades. I'm gonna hope it's secret room right here. 
Nope. Okay, so we are going to take a little extra damage. But well worth it for those two health upgrades we got. We will pick up all of the health on this level that is accessible to us now. Head back to the boss room and hopefully not get any health down pills. Uh, from the remainder of Mom's coin purse. Remember when this was going to be a fast run? <laughs> Things have changed. Need two more hearts. May actually be able to get them. Oh man, and they're all the way back here. Come on. What a waste. But that's fine. Those pills were really worthwhile, but remember, they could have just as easily been two health down pills. Although I, you know, almost certainly would not have taken the second one. Although I've probably done stupider things in the Binding of Isaac. There we go. Perfect, we got back to full health. We're now up to seven. We got decent, we got good damage. Let's, let's not mince words. So we got good damage. We got good defense with Halo of Flies and the Cube of Meat. We got Peep's Eye, which, you know, is unreliable, but occasionally a uh, game saver. I'm firing my laser is a spacebar item that I would not mind replacing, and then we'll just see what we got in these pills over here. Was this another health up pill? Oh, man. That's good jerky right there. And we got the sun card, and we got the two of spades. So we'll use the two of spades, and then we'll take the sun card down to the next floor. And remember that that is like a range down pill that we left there. So we did get three health upgrades on that floor. Guess the troll engine is taking the day off. Feels nice, like, a run where, like this where you have like eight, is that eight? Yeah, eight regular hard containers. It's just like a nice Sunday drive right now. May open that golden chest. Haven't decided yet. Ah, I kind of figured I was going to get hit at some point along the way here. I wish Peep homed. You know what, with, yeah, we'll open the golden chest because there is a half heart there as well. Alright, so we have an eternal heart. That I will save for after we defeat the boss. Because obviously, uh, that is the maximum way- Oh god. That is the, the way for me to maximize that, that uh, heart's efficiency. Hopefully. Uh, and thereby allowing me to get another heart container upgrade, which would be fantastic. Deal with the devil is not outside of the realm of possibility by any stretch of the imagination here. Another pill. What is it? Balls of steel. Two more spirit hearts. Getting very lucky with pills. And have identified a lot of pills as well right now as uh, right now as well, which is a, a bonus that you don't oftentimes think about when you think about the pills. Now I have less uncertainty about what kind of items I'm going to be getting. I'd say it's worth a bomb to get a spirit heart at this point. It's been a long time since I had a tankish run. And it feels good, man, so we will leave that eternal heart for now and hopefully pick it up later. We got a nickel in here. Worth a bomb for the opportunity to knock that nickel out? Or is it just worth a spirit heart for the nickel? I don't know. Not yet, but... Let's try it. You know, who dares wins, right? Well, that was pretty much a miserable failure. We'll hopefully get more bombs later. I don't really want to waste a spirit heart trying to get a nickel. Especially when I've already wasted a bomb. Doing the same thing. Like, Spirit Art for six cents, it's not horrible, especially when I've got decent health, but, you know, maybe there'll be a better turn of events that'll come up a little bit later. Maybe I'll be able to buy the ladder and then just pick up the money myself. Just waste, I'm firing my laser for basically no reason here. Paint ourselves into a corner like Jughead in the Archie Andrews comics. Get out of here fairly easily. Alright, human popcorn are gonna die. What do I even want from this pink champion here? I suppose I want keys. Well, spirit hearts are fine, too. I was going to say bombs, anyway, not keys. But that's fine. We'll deal with it. We got another chest. Containing a ladder. No, containing a decent amount of money. We might be able to visit the shop on this floor, which would be a novelty for damn sure. Turret took a, a late shot at me. He should be disqualified as far as I'm concerned. Dumb damage. Hey, we got the boss. It's only the devs part one. Lasers recharged. I think all signs are pointing to fight the boss right now. We'll just continue saving the sun card for later. Come on. Bomb fly. Don't troll the shit out of me like that. Now that we've got a lot of bombs, we can go back for that nickel as well, if necessary. We got Monstro part two. Guess what, Monstro? I got a laser too, asshole. That worked out fairly well. Peeper's eye. Doing good work. Rage not really helping me out in this fight, but you know, Peeper's Eye, or Peep's Eye, doing a, quite a number on Monstro here. I should, I'm trying to stand like right next to Monstro as well without actually hitting him because my, my Q and me should be tearing him up. But I gotta get pretty darn close to make that happen. 
by and large, I think this has been one of the easiest fights we've had in a long time. I'll take the last hit there. I'll take the range and tears up. That'll make up for that reverse Jesus juice I had on the last floor. And we will, you know, make our way down to what will be the treasure room, which will hopefully contain a fantastic spacebar item. Or the ability to fly. I would not mind the ability to fly as well. Maybe. Uh, okay, let's pop this bad boy right here. Yeah, that was perfect. We'll be able to visit the shop as well. If it's greed, it's greed. That's fine. If it greeds, we can kill it. And we will get the cash. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> okay, Book of Revelations. It's a good item. Uh, you might have heard me talk about it previously in the past. Looks like we are going to be super tanky. Losing the laser is not that big of a deal. And I think we are in a pretty glorious position right now. Although things change, and you know, we might run into some very difficult rooms as we move forward in the game. I think our damage is there, or nearly there. There being the point where it needs to be in order to, you know, take out those late game bosses as quickly as possible. Would love a Joker card. Here's my ideal circumstance. Joker card, flying, or, like, Joker card, angel room, flying, or Joker, Joker card, devil room, brimstone. I know occasionally people have problems with brimstone for one reason or another. Hey, you know, it's in the game. EA Sports style. Daddy Long Legs, also a great damage item. Don't let me forget to pick up that Eternal Heart before I come down. Alright, that was easy. Can afford to play this at least we'll play it two times. Why not three actually? Why well, let's play it four times. There's two, three, and four. Okay, that's fine. We have the eternal heart to pick up, we have a little bit of extra health at some point. And you know what? Like I'm I'm doing fine for health right now. I'm sure I'll be able to replenish it at some point in the future. So we got two chests. There's one half heart there. And what do we have in here? Hopefully. Yeah, I was actually hoping for more bombs. Might as well play the Blood Bank one more time to take us back up to 15 cents while we're here. Could also give us that full health HP upgrade. Maybe one more time, why not? Oh, it's the IV bag! IV bag, I hate you! Ugh, it's like a portable Blood Bank. Not sure how I feel about it, because uh, I don't know if it actually pays out with the blood bag. If it did, then I might take it with me right now, but Book of Revelations probably better in the long run. On the bright side, hey, we have the battery. Or, sorry, we have money to buy a battery on the next floor, should we run into one in the shop? And in addition to that, of course, we have uh, the Eternal Heart, which will manufacture another heart container for us momentarily. Feel lucky, let's try to find a secret room here. I am not lucky. Should never make that mistake again. But we still have one bomb for tinted rocks and other various, you know, structures that need exploding. Not quite at full health again, but hopefully we'll be able to get that going once we get down to probably what's going to be the Necropolis. No, Depths Part 2. Lucky us. Alright, and Larry Jr. Blue Larry Jr., no less. Means spirit hearts for us again. We are getting, you know, fairly fortunate so far in this run. Especially when it comes to health. It's been a little while since I've had health off the screen. And it's definitely a welcome return, I would say. So if we can get Daddy Long Legs to actually hit here, that would be fantastic for us. But you know, it might be a pipe dream. I actually did some damage there. And also, I got killed by Ch I got hit by Chubb, which is bad, but. Hey, it's over. There's Book of Revelations with another charge. Nearly back to full health. Item room contains Mulligan. Good item. Good item, considering it's going to be our last item, especially. So we'll just try to hit as much as possible. Generate some flies, a little bit of added offense. Don't underestimate Mulligan, man. Those flies do a ton of damage. Especially if you can get, you know, like, three or four of them carried over into a room. I've seen pictures of people who have gotten, like, ten of them carried over into a, into a room, and they're just, like, circling around you like some kind of halo of death. But for now, you know, I'm happy with only two. I can, I can live with that. Got a lot of things that passively do damage without even me even really needing to be there. <laughs> like the flies, keeps eye. This is a terrible set of rooms for me right here. Whatever. We're back to full health despite losing a spirit heart. So it's not all fun and games. Let's use our bomb to blow this open. Get this open. Hey, another spirit heart and some extra bombs. That definitely paid for itself. 
Justice. Give us another set of keys and bombs and a heart that maybe I'll be able to use on a blood bank. Should we come across one? And we will come across one. Fantastic. Things are going really super duper well right now. I'm trying not to overstate it, but... Or jinx it, I guess. But right now, certainly cannot be doing too much complaining. We can play the blood bank at least three times for now. This will give us a little bit of money that we can also use on the shop, perhaps. That's two. Hey. <laughs> Easy payout. So we'll take that. We won't bother with these things for now. We'll just head on to either the shop or the boss room. Probably yeah, we'll want to visit the shop first. I would love to be able to get to that. Cannot, though. And uh, I will plant a bomb here. Hopefully we'll get some zombies in the crossfire. But really, I just want hits of rock. Or another spirit heart. Kind of insane amounts of uh, vitality right now. Why not? You know? Bomb and a key. So, net gain of, like, a bomb from that transaction is not fantastic, but, you know, we'll get another drop when this ends. When we finish the, 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 group, the wave of enemies that come after the Leapers. And they have not been particularly difficult so far. The other bonus here, of course, one-sixth of a Spirit Heart, functionally, from our Book of Revelations charging. And another key. Worth my, worth my resources? Yes. Worth my time? Maybe not. As always, we'll continue exploring basically everything. Been a little bit lazy about finding secret rooms, but largely because I've, I've had bomb problems until recently. But don't worry, it happens to lots of guys. 21 cents. That is nearing two item territory from the shop if you get lucky and one of them is half price. Which, you know, don't laugh, it happens. A couple of zombies left. In fact, one of them is the Isaac Zombie, which is my least favorite kind. Oh, that, please, the Joker. <sighs> Two of diamonds. Doubles our money. Yeah, why not? We'll use that. Uh, head to the shop and hopefully buy something fantastic. I kind of knew it. <laughs> I kind of knew it. That's fine. You know, maybe we'll be able to use our money for something better in the future. We get a quarter again. Money equals power. Basically just gained 50 cents over the past two minutes. Which is pretty substantial. Unfortunately, I can't really use it for anything. But money equals power, I think it goes without saying, would be an insanely good pickup right now. You know what? I can go to this judgment. Alright. I'd say that was probably worth it. One half heart for the ability to fly and the extra health up that it gave me. I'm not even going to fly backwards for that remaining health. I'm just going to exist with what I got. This is insanely overpowered. I may, like, I'm not going to say that I'm going to win 100%, but things are certainly looking okay. Better than they did last run, that is for damn sure. We got a red chest. Let me guess, teleport me to uh, an angel room where I'll pick up another amazing item. Oh, I didn't even want the tick, I wanted the Polaroid. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up, oh, so that's a tears upgrade. Cool. Um, let's go fight the boss now. Basically doing insane damage. I don't have any eyes, which is a problem. And it also sucks that unless I get Mom's purse, I won't be able to pick up the Polaroid because the tick is, like, unlosable. But hey, we're going to be doing some serious damage to Mom right at the start of the boss fight, which is fine. It's just me, her foot looks a little bit fatter. I think we also have homing tears as a result of the, uh... As a result of the Sacred Heart? Is that what it does? Homing tears and also bigger tears? I don't know, but right now, uh, you know, it's looking pretty solid. Mom is nearly dead already. There she goes, that was easy, Book of Revelations, we got the crate, one of each item. So there's a spirit heart, two of diamonds, <laughs> doubles our money again, up to 99 cents. That pill is like a tears down pill if I remember correctly. Can't even pick up this trinket, and our tarot card is the sun. If we go down to the womb or utero XL, I'll definitely use it there. Just utero one, okay I'll save it, maybe use it on the cathedral. For now, uh, I'd say things are pretty much going in our favor. Don't want either of those, but I might as well pick up the um, Book of Sin. Yeah, give me an extra key. So I, I lost a key to gain a key. That is what we call uh, you know, an even trade. So focus on the hearts here. It, it's kind of amazing to me that I was overpowered before, but am now like more overpowered. Tick. The tick, I hate you. I hate you so much. I could have gotten the Polaroid, could have fought the real final boss, this could have been a momentous video! I have the skills required! I need to get Mom's coin purse, somehow. Or Mom, Mom's purse, I guess, is just what it's called, not coin purse. But how, how can I do that? 
I need to <laughs> find a shop where, uh, like, it, does it come up in secret rooms? That is such a piss off. When you pick up the tick, it should give you a screen that is like, do you want to pick this up? Because otherwise you can just do it so easily by accident. Not that I've, not that I'm sad about it or anything. But anyway, I guess we'll just enjoy this run for what we have. We have, clearly the Polaroid exists as an item uh, in my game, so I can just worry about finding it again, you know, Parasite style. Anyway, I'm gonna try to forget that that even happens. We'll just enjoy the fact that we are having one of the most OP runs I've had in a long ass time. Only thing that can make it better right now, utero one drop of like technology too. There's our book of revelations. What do we got for me? Death. All right. Oh, of course I use book of revelations, so we're, we're gonna get our second cube. Of, of course. What was I thinking? So death is very nearly dead. It's kind of insane how much damage we're doing. Dropped a spirit heart because he's a nice guy like that, and he just took off a spirit heart. So yeah, it's maybe not that nice. But much appreciated nonetheless. Cuba meat. I don't even know what to do. We're just going to abandon the Polaroid. Kind of pissed off about it, but what can you do, right? If only it had been any trinket but uh, but the Polaroid. Or, sorry, but the but the tick. Then it all would have been forgiven. Could have just picked it up now. Would have been a momentous run. Could have been a contender. Wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. Anyway, again, I'm going to not focus on it so much. Instead, we'll just concentrate on not fucking up what has been basically like the greatest run of all time. Cool, Guppy's head gives us a, a shit ton of flies. Oh my god. And it recharges like every room, right? Yeah, so, you know, well, let's use this instead of Book of Revelations. I think it'll be more fun this way. It'll probably save us as much health as Book of Revelations would give us as well. So we'll go with Guppy's head. You know, every room it recharges with three more flies, so we can amass like a little bit of an army for myself. Or, you know, at the very least, just make my progress that much quicker. And I'm still holding on to the sun card that I got like two seconds into the game. Just got his head again. Half heart I can't even use. Did I just give up Book of Revelations? What is wrong with me? I must not be thinking straight after that whole Polaroid debacle. Got flies still trucking along here. I want to, like, I don't want my flies to, to go attack. I don't know, a curved horn. It looks like a trinket. Uh, for, it's the one you get when you beat the game of Judas. The new game of Judas, I should say. Uh, but, can't pick it up because I've got the tick. Awesome. That burned me pretty hard here. Could have gotten two new items. So, we're just going to keep going, uh, going to town here. I got the mulligan and guppy's head, so I should have a fly army, but unfortunately... You know, they keep doing the right thing and actually doing some attacking for some reason. Psh, why not? I guess we got Spectral Tears. And we found our secret room. Uh, so I'm gonna take a little bit more damage. Probably took one extra heart. Whatever. That was worth it for the Ouija board. So now we have Spectral Tears. For some reason did not pop. There we go. Second Guppy's head. Got a little bit of a fly army now. And that is the Flat Penny again. Trinkets just dropping non-stop now that I can't even pick them up. Perfect! Took me until the depths part 2 to find one trinket. And now I find the trinket I want. I'm not even using Guppy's head every room. I gotta fix that. Are you seeing this damage? This is insane! Eternal heart that I will pick up right now. Uh, and we got Peep again, not using Guppy's head. We got two eyes. I think Peep's is the one with the smaller pupil. Cool. Head. There's our boss room. Watch out for the laser beams. Daddy Long Legs helping me out. Cool. Got his head uh, for our boss fight against Mom's Heart. And then we'll use the Sun card on the next floor. Maybe? I'm not sure when, though. Like, if I want to use it to keep myself, like, give myself the potential for full health, or if I want to use it to use it as, like, a map and a compass. I don't know. In any case, I don't really think it matters. I think we're, we're strong enough at this point that we're, we're basically unkillable. Mom's heart already continuously firing bombs. I can fly six different ways. I'm gonna get another heart container at the end of this floor, whether she likes it or not. So, let's head up to the cathedral. There's our other heart container. Yeah, let's use the sun card right away. And we found our secret room. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, troll bombs. Um, yeah, we got our secret room right next to the boss room. Maybe we'll be able to pick up something nice. 
before we fight against ourselves. See how easy it would have been for me with the Polaroid right now? Would have been no problems. Fish head, can't even pick it up. Don't know what it does anyway, to be honest with you. This thing will be dead in a second and a half. Another key. Guppy's head. We're making pretty goddamn great time right now. Let's bomb down here. Had 99 cents forever. Alright, make that, you know, we're probably up to like 140 cents right now if we could count it. Why not go through this one more room before we go to the boss room? Not a big deal. Thought maybe I could amass some more flies before the final fight against Isaac. And indeed, that is exactly how that shit went down. We got a fly army here. That's going to do some decent damage right off the top. Let's see what you got for me, Isaac. I think we've probably got you here. <laughs> Especially with the tick, as much as I, you know, hate that item right now. There's also done a service for me. Can't even see my hearts. I'm not even worried about, like, getting hit by Isaac right now. Especially, I have Halo of Flies and Cuban Meat protecting me. So we're just gonna just basically hold right on the arrow keys here. Everything is going pretty well. Can't even see my hearts yet. If only I had the Polaroid right now. Crisis would be averted. I could get onto a new narrative saga in my Binding of Isaac Let's Play. Oh well. This is good. It sets up some drama. Easy run. Long run, though, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. And as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.